Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this new tutorial I'm going to show you how to make an FPS shooter game in just 10 minutes. So we are going to use a starter asset that comes with the new version of Unity Hub. Then we can customize it to make some projects like this. And without any further ado, let's dive right in. So first of all, you need to download the latest version of Unity Hub. I'm using 3.3.0 and this version comes with some new templates like the FPS template. Then you could go under projects and create a new one. As you can see, we have 2D, 3D. Also, there are new ones like a third person, a runner game. Today, we'll use the first person template. Make sure to select it, then download it. I've already done that. Let's give this project a name like FPS Shooter. I'm going to put it under my desktop and hit create project. And once it's done, you will see a simple FPS game. As you can see, we have this prototype level. Let's try it using the play button. And there you go. We can move using the AWST keys. We have the sprint feature. Also, we can jump using the spacebar button. But this controller doesn't allow you to shoot using the left mouse button. And that's what we're going to implement. First, we have to download some uh, weapons so that we can use them under the FPS controller, which is called player capsule. And this is the camera. I'm going to search for weapons under the Unity Asset Store. So you could go to Window, then Asset Store, and let's search for sci-fi weapons. Then I will choose Free Assets. You could use any of these models, but I'm going to stick with this one that is called Sci-Fi Gun Light. Let's open it up. And these looks amazing for our game, but it doesn't matter which weapon you use. Let's open it in Unity. And that opens the package manager with this model selected, sci-fi gun. Make sure to download it using download, then hit import. Make sure that everything is selected and hit import again. I'm going to close this window. Now we have this new folder, sci-fi gun. Then let's go under prefabs. We have few guns, but the materials are purple. And that's because this project is using the universal render pipeline. We have to upgrade the materials to this pipeline. Under materials, let's select all of these. Then you could go to edit, rendering, and materials. We have this convert selected built-in materials to URP. And that will fix the problem. You see that the materials are fixed. Let's use one of these weapons. I'm going to use the red one. You could simply drag it under the player capsule or more specifically under the player camera root because the camera is rotating when we are playing. We need to make sure that the gun is rotating with the same way. For now, we can't see it because we have to reset the transform. Then let's move it down a bit. And yeah, now the game looks better. We have this weapon and we can move with it. But nothing happens when I shoot using the left mouse button because we haven't added this logic yet. So this template is using the new input system package. If you go under this folder, we have this starter assets, which contains some actions like the move action so that we can move, look, jump, sprint. And if you don't know how to use the new input system, make sure to watch one of my videos. I've talked about that in depth. So to create a new action, we can hit this plus button. Then we can give it a name, like shoot. After that, we have to select the binding, which is the trigger for the action. In order to shoot, we are going to use the left mouse button. Select now binding. And under properties, we can select the path. I'm going to search for left button. And let's select the mouse. Then make sure to save the asset using the Save Asset button, and let's close it. To check if we are pressing the left mouse button, they have created the Starter Assets script. Let's open it up in Visual Studio. As you can see, we have some booleans to check if we have pressed the spacebar button to jump and to sprint. I'm going to use the same logic. 
using public boolean and let's call it uh, shoot later we are going to use it so that we can check if we have pressed the left mouse button but first we have to update it and to do that we can add some functions like uh, this one on jump which is called automatically each time the jump action is performed I'm gonna add another one using public void on shoot and make sure to write the same name of the action shoot under this input action asset then let's open and close the parentheses this takes a parameter of type input value let's call it value and it is the state of the shoot action for example we can update the shoot boolean using shoot equals value then dot is pressed now we can create our own gun script and check for this variable using right click create c sharp script let's call it gun then i'm gonna attach it to the gun which is under the player capsule and it is this model let's drag it to it first we need to add a reference to the starter assets inputs basically this component is attached to the parent which is this player capsule you see that we have the starter assets inputs that contains the booleans like jump sprint and shoot first i'm gonna add a reference to the object private the type is starter assets inputs but this is declared under a namespace starter assets that's why we have to add it on top using starter assets then we can create this variable or object of type starter assets inputs i'm gonna call it underscore input and let's get it from the parent under the start function using underscore input equals transform which is the transform of the gun then we have this dot root and this is the top parent of the gun which is the player capsule then let's use dot get component and the component is the starter assets inputs now we can move to the update function and check if underscore input then dot and the name of the boolean shoot so this is going to be true if we press the left mouse button in such case we will call a shoot function i'm going to create it under the update using void shoot i will simply make a debug.log so that we can check if our script is working using debug.log and let's write shoot and don't forget to write the name of the function and finally we should reset the boolean using underscore input dot shoot equals false and let's save our script make sure to open up the console window and each time i press the left mouse button we have the message shoot now that we know that our script is working let's make the actual logic basically we are going to create a bullet or projectile then each time we press the left mouse button we are going to instantiate it and push it forward using its rigid body under the hierarchy let's right click 3d object i'm gonna use a sphere and let's call it bullet i'm gonna adjust the size a bit by changing the x scale to 0.1 the same thing for the y for the z i will use 0.2 and I think it looks good. Then let's change its material from the mesh renderer. I'm gonna select a random one from this project, like this shader graph. Then let's add a rigid body component so that we can add a force to it using add component, rigid body. The default settings are okay, but I want to add some constraints. For example, I want to freeze the X rotation and the Y rotation. Then let's create a prefab out of it by dragging the bullet under the assets or I'm gonna put it under this prefabs folder now you could get rid of it and let's add a reference to the bullet using private then game object and let's call it bullet prefab but we can't reference this object from the inspector because it is declared as private to fix that we can force unity to show this object under the inspector using square brackets and search for serialize field if we save the script again you see that we can reference it under prefabs drag in the bullet so to shoot this bullet first we have to instantiate it 
at a specific position, we can use the transformed position, which is the position of the sci-fi gun. Actually, we don't want that. We have to instantiate it from this position. I'm going to create an empty game object under the sci-fi gun using right click, create empty, and let's call it bullet point from where we are going to instantiate our bullet. And let's adjust its position. I think that's okay. And let's go back to the script and add a reference to it. I will use private game object bullet point and let's add serialize field then from the inspector we can reference the bullet point now we can move on to the logic of our shoot function instead of displaying this message let's use instantiate this takes three parameters the object that we want to create which is our bullet prefab then the position using bullet point dot transform dot position and finally the rotation let's use transform dot rotation the next step is to add a force to this bullet by accessing its rigid body component so let's add a reference to it using game object bullet equals the object that we have instantiated then we can access its rigid body using bullet dot get component the rigid body component and we have this built-in function add force which takes the direction of the force so I will use transform dot forward and then we can multiply it by speed and let's call it bullet speed I'm gonna set it to 600 by default and then we can multiply the force direction by the bullet speed finally I will destroy the bullet using the destroy method after one second and there you go now we have a shooter game so I think that's pretty much it guys for this video. I hope you like it. If you have any question or comment, make sure to write that under the comment section down below. And I will see you in the next one.